Hi and welcome to Florida Wild. August is upon us which means we've got about a month, month and a half left of this miserable humid weather and it'll all be, almost be time for backpacking season. I'm going through my gear right now um, dehydrating some food uh, for the season. Uh, going through my hammocks, going through my gear, just make sure everything is okay. And I thought I'd do a video and show you my collection of hammocks that I've uh, acquired over the years. Uh, the first two I purchased and the other three I actually made myself. And anything you want to know about hammocks you can find on hammockforums.net. I'll post a link in the description and uh, it'll take you right to the site. But uh, when I first went on there, I guess it's back in 2011, there was a thread on there about newbie hammock setups and tarps and and whatnot. <clears throat> and the hammock that kept coming up was uh, the Skeeter Beater Pro, and it's made by Grand Trunk. And so it came up so much in that thread, I decided to research it, and I actually wound up buying that as my first hammock. And uh, it's a great little hammock. It's perfect for anyone starting out, you know, to not spend a lot of money, see if you want to get into the sport. Um, I camp just about all my life. Camped in tents like everyone else probably, but uh, in 2011 I stumbled across hammocks and it caught my interest. And so I decided to uh, give it a try. So I've got the hammock set up. I'll show it to you. The specs on this hammock, it's 10 and a half feet long by 5 feet wide. Um, and the weight rating on this is 400 pounds, so probably a perfect hammock for somebody who's, you know, uh, tall, heavy. Um, it's got the weight rating you need, so with that, I'll go ahead and show you the hammock I got set up here. Okay, this is the Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater Pro. Um, the first thing you're probably going to notice if you go on the website, that this hammock doesn't quite look the way that the one on the website looks, and that's because I've modified it. These straps right here, it comes with bungee or shock cord that wraps around each tree and then suspends from these little loops to keep the netting up off of it. I'm researching on hammock forms, I came across a mod that was done to actually run a ridge line inside, and so I decided to mod mine that way. I can't take credit for that, but a guy named Grizzly Adams on Hammock Forums actually came up with this. I just copied the idea, but I'll show you how. As you can see here on each end of the hammock, there's just a little piece of grow gain that I sewed actually onto the netting. I sewed a piece on the outside and also a piece on the inside uh, to give it a little bit of strength. And then once I got those sewed on there, I just took uh, a nail and heated it up with a lighter and actually burned a hole through it. What that allows you to do is I've got a loop on each end here wrapped around the suspension and it actually runs in through that hole that I burnt in there and then you can see the ridge line goes inside all the way and that's what suspends the netting. Same thing on this side. So what that allows you to do is just use this like a, you know, traditional, traditional bug net hammock. So I'll crawl inside here and kind of give you an idea of how roomy this is. Okay, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty spacious in here. The only con with this hammock is, as you can see, there's just an abundance of mosquito netting on here. But that's by design. Grand Trunk actually designed this hammock to be able to flip upside down so that you could lay in it like a normal hammock without having the bug net if you so choose. And so that's where all the extra netting comes from is because it's the netting is the same width and length as the hammock. And I just kind of made my own uh, ridgeline organizer up there. But you can see that 
ridge line that runs along there that just holds the net up and it's actually makes this hammock a much better design this way in my opinion. The shock cord was just kind of a pain in the butt to deal with and this just sets up so much easier and you know basically just does the same thing. Okay the second hammock that I is also a purchased hammock and it's also a grand trunk design and it's called the ultralight and main reason I bought it was it was a cheap hammock and I wanted to try it out uh, you can find these hammocks for anywhere uh, pretty much anywhere for 20 bucks I think I got mine for around 16 or 17 dollars if you really looked hard and waited for this to uh, go on sale sometimes you can find them on Amazon for around 15 bucks but the dimensions on this one are nine and a half feet by five feet and the weight rating on this one is only 200 pounds so it's for basically a child's hammock or a small person um, great for scouts if you've got a scout troop and they want to try out hammocks perfect hammock it's inexpensive if you search around online you can find uh, bug nets to go over the hammock you know if you uh, are in the buggy season but we'll take a look at this one Okay, this is the Grand Trunk Ultralight, and as you can see, I've added a ridge line to this. Now, the thing with ridge lines, it just sets the sag of the hammock. You know, if you're stringing out the two trees and it's too tight, it can be very uncomfortable. They say you should set the ridge line anywhere from 83 to 85% of the overall length of the hammock. So this hammock is nine and a half feet, and so I believe the ridge line on this is 90 or 91 inches is where I have this set, and that was the most comfortable. And I have I made an adjustable ridge line, so you can adjust it back and forth and, until you find the right lay. But normally on all my hammocks, it's around 83% is where I have them set, and that seems to be the most comfortable throughout all five hammocks that I have. So. And I have not slept one night in this hammock. This is basically a hammock I set up out here in the yard to take a nap in or something. I tried to sleep in it one night and it was kind of a disaster because you should never try anything out in the woods. Luckily I was kind of car camping and I had two hammocks with me. So I just couldn't keep my top quilt inside the hammock. I was fidgeting, it was late at night and I, I had people like camping around me and I didn't want to wake anyone up so I could have probably got it but Never try anything out in the woods first. Try it out at home. Make sure everything works at home and then take it out there. But it's a small hammock, but it's pretty comfor comfortable. You know, you can pretty much just lounge in this thing and take a nap. You know, it's nice nice place to sit if you wanted to you know if you're a tent camper and you want to just take a hammock to lounge in during the day this thing is light perfect perfect for that according to the website um, it only weighs 12 ounces I think mine's probably a little more than that only because of the straps when you add the straps and everything I think mine's around 14 ish ounces but uh, this would be a great starter hammock too if you didn't need a bug net, if you were in an environment where you really didn't need a bug net, it's perfect for you. Or like I said, you could research online and, you know, either DIY your own bug net or they have plenty of them for sale. So, it's a great little hammock though. Third on the list is the first of three hammocks that I DIY'd. And of all five of my hammocks, this is my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is about this hammock. I sleep like a baby. It's 10 feet long and 62 inches wide. It has a 100 inch ridge line and it's made out of 1.1 ribstop nylon. I've probably had it about five years now and it's my go to hammock. It's the one that I will grab before I grab any other one. I've slept more nights than in this hammock than I've slept in any of the other ones. Not to say that I don't like the other ones, I like all my hammocks, but this is my absolute favorite.
as you can see, it's got an integrated bug net. Um, like I said, it's got a 100 inch ridge line. I put tie outs on my hammocks. I think it just kind of opens it up and makes it, you know, easier to get in and out of. Um, I will use these loops to for my under quilts. I usually run it through the loops on my under quilts, and it just keeps everything together. But I absolutely love this hammock. I designed this after the War Bonnet Blackbird as far as dimensions go. The thing I don't like about the Blackbird is the foot box. I just don't care for that. And I could deal with that. And but I'm a head right, feet left guy. In other words, I sleep with my head to the right and my feet to the left. But I also like to exit the hammock from the left. With a blackbird, you can get your feet switched to the other direction, but you can't exit from the same direction as the footbox. So that's kind of one of the main reasons I decided to design my own. And I've been much happier designing my own hammocks. I make them the way I want, with the dimensions I want, the material I want, and they just work for me. So I'll crawl in here real quick and this hammock I can just really stretch out in. I mean it's it's just the perfect lay for me. I love everything about it. But ten foot long. I'm five foot ten, and it's basically the perfect length for me. And my next DIY hammock will probably be a clone of this one, only in uh, camo fabric. My fourth hammock, and another DIY, and. I affectionately labeled this the camel coffin when I posted it to hammock forums and in a moment you'll see why. It's 11 feet long, 57 inches wide, and it's actually a convertible hammock. I can actually take the buttons, unzip the bug net all the way off and stow it in the foot end. Um, it's a neat little design. I enjoy this hammock. Um, again, it's I, I like all my hammocks. so. This thing sleeps comfortable too. It's made out of 1.6 argon. I got that from Dutch Wear Gear. If you want to look that up, it's DutchWearGear.com. And I'll show you this one. As you can see, pretty huge. Like I said, it's 11 feet long. And the zipper zips all the way up, goes around and all the way down to the foot end and the whole net will just come right off. So like I said, it's 11 feet long, 57 inches wide. The ridge line on this one is 110 inches and that's about 83% of the total length. So I'll get in this one and show you what it looks like. In As you can see, very roomy. I make these little uh, ridge line organizers, organizers out of uh, bug netting, just to stow your wallet, keys, whatever, your phone. But this fabric is a little heavier compared to the last one, but it doesn't stretch quite as much. But that being said, it is very comfortable. So I'll get out and uh, show you how the net unzips off. Basically all you do is just take one zipper, zip it all the way to the foot end, take the other zipper, comes up, hooks around, I'll have to go to the other side.
and it zips all the way to the foot end on the other side. Now you can just pull the whole net right off the hammock. As you can see here, I made this little stuff sack that just stows the net on the end. There's a little loop that is connected to the uh, suspension on the inside of the hammock. And it just turns the hammock into a netless hammock. I like this hammock for its uh, versatility. You know, if I wanted to take the net half off, I could. If I just wanted to unzip one side, I could. Or as you can see here, in cooler weather where there's not so many bugs, you can just take it completely off. I really like this design. And that's the camo coffin. And fifth and finally, this is the last one that I made last year. As you can see, it's got a Franke bug net on it. As you can see, this is just a simple gathered in hammock with whipped ends. This bug net is actually separate. The suspension of the hammock just runs through the ends of the bug net. If you want to see that, just look up Franke bug net on YouTube or hammock forums and you can find out how to make one. But I reserve the right to make mistakes on my channel. And the last hammock, the camo hammock that I showed you, I told you wrong on the dimensions. The dimensions on that hammock are actually 132 inches, 11 feet by 54 inches wide, not 57. So when I made this hammock, I wanted to make kind of an in-betweener hammock in between the 10-footer and the 11-footer and also width-wise. So this hammock is 10 and a half feet wide, along and 57 inches wide. And it's got an adjustable ridge line on it, which I have set to 103 inches. And I know what you're going to say. I already said that my hammocks are set to 83% for the most part. This is the only one that's different. For some reason, it just laid perfect at 103 inches. I tried 105, tried 104, tried 102. Always when I went back to 103 inches, the lay was perfect. I can't explain it. Maybe it's the material, it's just how this hammock lays. But this one has a 103 inch ridge line on it. Um, with that being said, that's all five of my hammocks. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my hammock collection. If you got any questions on any of the hammocks or how I built any of the hammocks or any questions whatsoever, just post it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best I can. In the meantime, go get yourself a hammock, a tent, whatever gets you in the outdoors, and get out there and have an adventure. We'll see you next time.